hi guys so today i wanted to do a haul now i know it's a little bit close to my recent south end haul this haul is um because i went to london i went to greenwich which is what i was supposed to do on my birthday weekend but it was a lot of stuff was going on so i didn't end up getting to do that so i went around the weekend or so afterwards so there is in fact a bit of a space between the timeline of events but to you it probably looks like i'm spewing out all these hauls just in succession that's not the case but anyway i thought i'd get that out of the way so yes i went to greenwich london because i'm always passing through there on my travels to visit all my relatives in london and i thought i really want to actually go there because a lot of the shops were catching my eye and so for a little extended birthday treat I went with Joe and Mum and yeah I had some birthday money I wanted to spend and stuff so I thought let's do it. So I'm going to start with the clothes and yeah I'm not sure about the names of all the shops I got these from and I've got some little um, business cards and that to show you afterwards. Some of them are from what I've bought and some of them are just random stalls because the market there was amazing. I felt like I was at Expo pretty much. There was just so much stuff going on um, but yeah anyway. Onto the stuff. So from this really cute stall, I don't know what it's called, I'm really sorry, they had some lovely clothes. Um, they have this bag which is recycled from paper and it feels amazing. And I got two like harem pants. I've got pictures of the clothes. Um, one of the harem pants fit a little bit snug which is these ones. Also the other set of clothes I've got which is from a different shop which I'll show you after these two. Fit a bit snug as well, you'll see in the picture but they, they're still very comfortable. So I got these pair which are um, blue feathered herring pants, I guess. They've got the elastic at the top and at the bottom, which are the kind of pants that I prefer. Um, and they've got pockets. And I'm really getting into this fashion because it's just nice and easy to just wear. It's nice and light. The only thing is, I generally tend to clash with um, patterns anyway. So this is like a, a major devastation if that happens. <laughs> and then the next pair that I got were, I don't know if these are still called harem pants, but they're the very long flary ones. I've never tried them before, but the lady was really convincing that they'd look cool, and Joe thought they'd look really cool on me as well. So basically they're kind of, those. they're ones that look like a skirt when you're walking, but then they're quite obviously trousers if a gust of wind comes along or whatever. Um, and they're just big and oblongy and kind of shapeless, so they, sh they just droop down if that makes sense. So um, they're pretty cool, and I really like the colours of these. Oh, um, these are from... I don't know if the store's called Masta, but the clothing is called Masta, if that helps any of you. And then from Shiva, which is actually a um, tattoo and piercing shop, they also sell other bits. And I've got these really cool dungarees that look like this. Sorry, they're not that buttoned up, so I can't show you the, the full extent of the dungariness. But they're like um, tartan full length trouser ones, and I've never had full length trouser dungarees before so yeah they're very thin material so that's why I was a bit worried about ripping them because um, when they get to my thighs they're a little bit tight a little bit snug. On to the actual first place I went I believe um, it's really cool they've got all these really cool bright bold prints I think they're African inspired there's some beautiful portraits and um, paintings photographs that are printed on wood it's really really nice shop um, I think it's oh damn it I don't know the name of it I'm really sorry but I think this might have been a business card. Yes, I think it might be this store. Jonah Quest Art. You can find her on a website. Um, but yeah, I don't know what the store is called, but this is a business card. Jonah Quest Art Gallery. Um, and I think this was from her as well. But I'll show all these again at the end in case any of you are interested. So I've got this really awesome pillow. Oh my god, it's absolutely beautiful. The stuff in here are a little bit pricey, but they're so unique and really, really cool. So this is going to add to my collection, because some of you may have known that I got a new bed recently, which is also part of my birthday present. And um, I'm really dressing it up in all really cute pillows and stuff like that. So yeah, really, really like this. It's super cute and very, very plump. So <laughs> excited to put my head on that. And then I also got this really cute mini backpack. It's like all quilted and stuff. Like, oh, it's really, really nice. Uh, I don't think I'll be using it for uni just because it's a bit small for that in my um, tastes but um, look how like padded it is you can't really get the full effect just by seeing it you need to kind of feel it but look how bold it's so awesome it's like throwing back to the 90s a little bit um, and then it's got another compartment just here and then a really small compartment on the front of that which is here 
so yeah really nice amount of space i can't wait to wear that um the material is kind of like fabric if you know what i mean so i probably wouldn't wear it out in the rain um because i know it's one of those things that's going to soak through so other than that i think this is going to be very comfortable even the um straps are padded inside so it's very nice and then lastly for that clothes segmenty i guess it was still accessory sort of thing i don't know i got this <laughs> and that is a bio it kind of reminds me of pac-man again i don't know um where this is from it bothers me i know i'd recognize the shop if i was to see it again but i don't know what it's called and so i'm really really sorry about that um but it's a lot of unique stuff up there a lot of really cool um like market stores and stuff and they've got so much like but, uh, diversity in food for a really reasonable amount of money so uh, mum went and got some um caribbean food just sticking with our roots kind of what we know best and then we'll branch out eventually i'm sure um and she got this massive like tupperware box filled to the brim with whatever she ordered and uh, it was only seven pounds and she couldn't eat it all in one go so it was really worth it um but yeah so anyway back to this i got this bow tie because it was due time i got another one since i lost my bow tie and headband back in may i think and i haven't had one since but i think it's time to suck it up and get a new one so i did <laughs> so i can't wait to wear that and then this is something my mum got me. Now, there were bunny ones, but she said, I'll get you this one only if you get this one. So she'll buy it for me if I got this one. But I don't mind because it's like a mini me. But look how cute she is. It's a little doll. How adorable. And the girls that I got this from, like, make these. And this is a little dress. <gasps> She's just too cute. I'm going to have to put it on my bookshelf or something. Um, but this is by the company Little Loomers. As I said, they had like bunny versions. They kind of still are like um, human-like, but bunnies, if that makes sense. I saw a few different things like that actually around there. Maybe that's just a thing now. But um, it's super, super cute. And she's like a mini me. When I was younger, obviously, I don't, I didn't have orange hair when I was younger. But, um, <laughs> or piercings, or makeup for that matter. But yeah, mum said, yeah, you can have her because she looks like a mini you when you were younger. <laughs> So I got her and she's adorable. And then lastly is books. Of course I couldn't go up there and not buy a book. Um, it's actually the first place I went to. Yeah, I went to Waterstones. So I got two books from there. I didn't want to go too crazy. But I got one that I've seen on Mercy's Bookish Musings. And another one... I don't know if I've seen anywhere, but I looked at the cover, it looked beautiful, and I read it, and it sounded really interesting. Um, but th they're things that I can't remember to my mind, so I'm going to read you the synopsis. So the first one here is Eleanor by Jason Gurley, and just look how stunning that is. And it sort of travels around the, uh, the spine in the back of the book. So I won't read you the actual um, synopsis, I'll just read you the big bit on the back, because that's what caught me, and I just want to see what it looks like. Oh, it's a lovely grey book inside. Beautiful. The back says, the world is made of water. It falls upon the ford to the asphalt lot. The beach stones are comforting her. Before her, the ocean is wide and grey. Every wave a low roar as it breaks on the beach. Chaos up here, but below the water, Eleanor knows, there is only quiet. Like the sky above the clouds, like a moment of weightlessness. The sea beckons her as if it alone knows her. She steps into the ocean and strides forward, the water reaching her knees, then her hips. She's home. I think that made me think of like mermaids and stuff but I don't think it's going that route um the way it's described on the inside kind of feels like literary fiction and I've been wanting to branch out more in terms of the the quality of fiction that I read if that makes sense so I think this might be an interesting one to read and then I have Adrian to mine's um killing and dying and again I'll read you what it says this is a graphic novel by the way I think Mercy described it as a kind of quiet one and it feels nice because it's like all squared i don't know why like i've never seen a graphic novel like have this like thing this layer on it <laughs> um like a clear layer but it says um a bit about the author and illustrator and then with killing and dying to mine presents six new stories unlike any he has told before unpredictable darkly funny and deeply moving they display an exceptional range of focus and technique the village voice called to mind one of the most masterful cartoonists of his generation. And this is his most ambitious and empathetic work to date. Cool. So it's a collection of six stories. I said that really deeply, didn't I, when I said cool. I don't know what happened to my voice. And then lastly, I went to Oxfam 
and I'm really annoyed because I got like this really nice banoffee crepe but I dropped some of the banana on it when I was like fussing around because we got to see water dragons this guy was just walking around with Chinese water dragons and they were beautiful if I've still got that picture I'll put that in too but um, yeah I dropped a bit of my chocolate on the book so I'm annoyed but this is the book oh my god it's beautiful right this is Brian Froud's fairy towels or fairies towels um by brian and wendy froud now i recognize the name and also the style of art in this because i read a book called good fairies bad fairies or um just fairies i guess and it reminded me so much of it and then i realized i think it's the same author and it even says by the best of all fairies so i'm assuming it was i borrowed that from the library so many years ago but i've never actually seen it in a store to buy so this i'm so happy i've seen because it's only 5.99 and usually it's 21.99 and yeah it's really awesome um so i think it's actually a story using their art as the illustrations whereas good fairies bad fairies before was just telling you different type of fairies alongside the art of the illustrators so i'll just show you an example where there's a lot of um painting or whatever this is a really nice one oh god it's so heavy like this is the level of art we're talking about like it's absolutely stunning and then we've got like um i think these are photos of models that they make and then obviously we've got the front which is absolutely beautiful so i almost forgot to show you the business cards so this is jake pagent pageant he's a designer and co-founder apparently um, I'm not too sure. I can't remember what this was about. I also saw some really cool, like, wooden creations um, that kind of blew in the wind. But I, I spent all my change on the bow tie so I can actually use that. And they didn't have, like, a card reader. So that was annoying. Um, and then there is this Gecko London, which looks amazing. It reminds me of, like, LARPing clothes. It was amazing. Um, so the stuff they do is go trance, steampunk, sci trance, hippie, pixie, boho, goth, tribal, festival clothing and accessories. And oh, it's beautiful. This is what the shop looks like. It was really, really nice. And then there's Magma, which does um, fragrances and like uh, candle sort of stuff. Um, so it's called the Luxury Home of Fragrance Mag Magma London. And they were so beautiful. They smelled so, so good and these things these reed diffuser things i always find that they don't smell of anything but these ones were so strong they were really really good um and this is just an example of some of the fragrances that they have and then as i showed you earlier this is the place where i got that bag up oh, and pillow from um yeah so that's just an example of i think an art piece or something and this is the information about the shop post person the artist and um, yeah it's really nice so yeah that's my haul again sorry it's so close to um the south end one you'll probably see another one soon because i've got two more that i've still yet to upload from earlier on in the year actually um i think i've got about two more yeah but anyway uh i hope you don't mind seeing another haul so recently and let me know what you've bought recently as well as if you think the stuff I got was cool because I was really surprised at how awesome Greenwich is like the stuff is just so unique and it's definitely up my street I wouldn't mind living up there <laughs> but um anyway that's it for this video and I'll speak to you next time bye